one thing I can't control and that's the weather but I can uh, control myself getting outside and deciding whether or not to go or not but yeah absolutely soaking wet here in Glencoe and uh, I'm down at the S Bend Rapids at the minute I mean it's lovely and this is what it's all about moody Glencoe fantastic you know my hands are absolutely completely numb but uh gorgeous absolutely gorgeous welcome to Glencoe folks So in this episode, I'm going to be showing you some fantastic locations um, where you can uh, get different compositions and hopefully uh, it's going to brighten up a bit. I've been here for the past two days in Glencoe. Uh, it's been horrendous. It's like a cyclone hit Glencoe, honestly. Uh, but this is what it's all about, getting out there and getting some photos done. So let's get on with it and uh, get some images. So here, just been shipped firing away, um, F11 ISO 100, and uh, you'll see me images of this place on at the end. These s -Bend Rapids, it's a fantastic location. I've uh, been coming here for the past, not for photography, uh, for leisure and climbing the mountains and visiting this place over the past 15 years. It's fantastic for photography-wise, I've been coming here every two years. Uh, for two years, sorry, and uh, it's, it's a brilliant location. Uh, for the Espen Rapids, it's uh, fantastic just to come back here. It's, uh, I come back here every time I'm in Glencoe and uh, catch it, capture it in different seasons anyway. But uh, it's stopped raining now, yeah. So, uh, let's go with it and I'll see it next location. Hi and good morning guys and welcome back to uh, the next location or should I say locations all I'm doing it's gonna be a long day but I'm walking up the river Coopal from the the honey pot location waterfall which everybody gets and all I'm doing is following the river all the way up to what's called the devil's staircase at Alton Thief and I'm stopping and I'm taking uh, lovely lovely waterfall locations which i'm going to show you it's fantastic here i mean and uh at the end of the show i've got a surprise for any one of my subscribers and uh tune in and uh to find out what that exactly is so i want at least two shots out of uh this location i i, I know one of the lo locations lo uh, i can't even speak it's that cold my lips have gone numb about minus three at the minute minus five so another one of the locations and uh, I've 
gonna try and find another location. Then once I'm done there, I'm going up to Old Thief, up the Devil's Staircase a bit. There's a stream I want looking down onto the Bucal itself. And from there, I'm gonna carry on all the way to uh, Bucal Etive Bag, the miniature Bucal, I call it. And I'm gonna be on the side of there, capturing the waterfall down into the views, into the two sisters. Long day, so let's get walking, less talking. So that's me uh, just getting to the waterfall now, but what a contrast from yesterday. The water here was gushing over this little cascade here, but it's not coming over this central little part here. It does make a leading line it's up to the buccal itself. I'll put a picture on the screen now for you what it does look like. So yeah, that's uh, what it normally looks like, the buccal. But, uh, and this waterfall just behind me down here. But wait for it, because normally it comes over here and it gushes it down and you can just be stood down here getting this shot. But that means I can focus on the other side, which is this one. Have a look at that, eh? Lovely. Awesome. So we just got to wait for this uh, vehicle to come into clarity here. And uh, I'll get the camera set up and I'll run you through a few settings of mine what I'm using to get, grab this actual image. But wow, yeah. So when you're on locations like this, do watch where you're stepping. Not for uh, photography wise for footprints and that, I know it's a hassle removing them in Photoshop, whatever you use, but you, you can slip in here to be careful and it is bloody freezing. And uh, it's a fabulous location. And uh, once I'm done here, I'll push further and further and further up. So let's get my camera out and I'll run you through some settings. Hi right, guys, so I've got my camera set up. I've just been taking a few images just down here. Uh, looking at this lovely cascade of waterfalls. Uh, the buccal is coming into the clarity really, really nicely here. I set up at the camera, I'm shooting in the middle of the day, I'm on F16 and I've focus stacked this, so basically I'm focusing just on this little rock down here, then parts of the waterfall, then the buccal itself, the buccal. Buckle, buckle. So yeah, I'm gonna bring all those images together and make it sharp as well, it should turn out quite sweet. So set up F16 ISO 100 and I'm at one fifth of a second, which is just about perfect for that speed of water. Absolutely lovely here. I'm gonna pack up now and then I'm gonna push further and further up the river Coupal until uh, I get to the Devil's Staircase. So let's get going and find another cascade and uh, leading lines to the Bucal itself. Beautiful, eh? Look at that. Sweet. This is the next uh, cascade of waterfalls. I'm a bit excited about this one because it gives more of a leading line and a more, more um, I can, of a focal point in the foreground for the vehicle itself. I'm a bit excited. I'm going to get my camera set up and I'll talk you through my composition here. Catch you in a minute. So that's me. I've uh, got my camera set up now and I'm just running a few more set my settings and uh, my composition, what I've just captured. So I've just uh, been firing away. And I'll let you run through my composition at the minute. So my composition is just in the foreground here. You've got like a lovely, lovely leading line of a rock. 
this little cascade of waterfall leading up through here onto the rocks itself and onto the buccal it is fantastic i've been shooting in both portrait mode and landscape mode and again f16 a quarter of a second uh 0.6 grad filter in i was at about 17 millimeter for that and it's absolutely gorgeous nicer 100 um, i'm going to get a few more shots off here then i'm going to push all the way up to the devil staircase but i always like to keep an eye out on the way like for uh, future locations and uh, compositions and uh if i see anything that catches my eye on the way up i'm definitely going to stop it's definitely uh lots of clarity in uh, the mountains today really 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 spectacular and over the back of whoa that's how slippery it can get uh, over the back of me look at that towards rannock moor absolutely fantastic today what a contrast from yesterday i tell you I might even nip back down to the S-Friends Rapids and uh, see how we go, but definitely want to finish up showing you uh, uh, my last location, which hopefully is a nice sunset this afternoon or this evening. But anyway, let's talking, let's get walking. See you at next location. So uh, that's me completely just walked all the way from the honeypot location all the way back down there about two miles of the uh so that so that's me just uh walked the whole of the river cupel up to the cottage uh it's taken about a couple of hours uh from the main honeypot location down there i didn't stop there to get a photograph i wanted to concentrate on the river cupel looking at the buccal a, uh, a storm has come in now to Glencoe uh, it's just a matter of flying along and uh, hanging it out until it passes you can't even see the buccal now we've got a cottage just behind me somewhere here the bridge but uh, all I'm doing is crossing over the road up at Alton Thief up to uh, the Devil Staircase and there's a location there what I want to shoot and uh, it's quite a good setup but uh, let's get walking let's talking oh rough eh oh cold as well I wouldn't uh, ask for uh, anything more this is Glenco oh mental Well, as you can see, uh, it's a complete whiteout at the minute behind me. And behind over here is the Eucalyptus Moor. And uh, I really do hope this is going to clear. It's a bit too close to it. It's a bit too But I'm making my way down. The road is down here. That's not going to be. This is far too much just about. Right, I'm going to stop here.
Hi guys, and welcome to the final location in this episode. Wipe that screen for you. So I'm on the, uh, the side of Buccal Essay Beg, and uh, which is this one up here. And you've got the road down there, and behind me you have got the three sisters. Um, I was here last autumn getting a shot here of the uh, this little stream just behind me and uh, the sisters as well and I put that image up in the uh, little montage at the end uh, so yeah absolutely fantastic day complete white out this morning uh, well about lunchtime ish anyway but absolutely freezing cold at the minute and it looks like there's another snowstorm coming in so anyway thanks for tuning in guys in this episode and I'd lo like to uh, pay back uh, to well not a payback but I say a massive thank you for subscribing to my channel and uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer one of my subscribers a free workshop and uh, all you have to do is comment workshop in the comments on this episode um, I'll put a closing date on the for for February end of this month and the availability will be between October 2022 and March 2023. Hi right, guys, so that's me down at the uh, Shron Larry car park now. Uh, GoPro battery went up the top there so I couldn't finish what I was about to say. Um, thanks for tuning in guys on this episode. It's been hard work on this one. Uh, completely severe adverse weather conditions sometimes and uh, about finishing off the day and the sun comes out. So anyway, as I was saying, uh, uh, listen, I'm going to offer a free workshop to one of my subscribers between uh, October 2022 and March 2023. Uh, it's up to you to choose your uh, availability when you want between those dates. And all you have to do for a chance to win that free workshop, free workshop that is, uh, just comment uh, workshops and uh, hit that like and subscribe and I'll choose a subscriber by the end of February. Thanks for tuning in guys, enjoy the images. Catch you very soon. Bye for now. Thank you.